In this problem, we're asked how much tension must a cable withstand if it is used to accelerate a 1200 kilogram car vertically upward at 0.7 meters per second squared. So let's go ahead and write down what we're given first. So first off, we're told that our car is going to be 1200 kilograms. And so we know kilograms is uh, the units for mass. So they tell us the mass of our car is going to be 1200 kilograms. And we also know that the car is going to go vertically upward at uh, 0.7 meters per second squared. And so you should recognize that meters per second squared is the units for acceleration. So essentially they're telling us the acceleration is 0.7 meters per second squared. And then keep in mind they're asking how much tension. And so tension is a force. So essentially they're asking for the force uh, for this. So I'm going to write F equals. So this is just force equals. We're trying to find uh, the force. So we know the general equation for force. So force is equal to mass times acceleration. And so we're going to use uh, a different version of this formula because we're trying to find tension. And so the formula for tension, uh, and I'm going to call it F of T, so just the force tension is equal to mass. But when you use for, uh, when you're trying to find a tension, you have to take into account gravity. So when you take your acceleration, you take the acceleration they give you, but then you have to add it to gravity. So really, uh, the tension or solving for the force of tension is going to be mass times acceleration plus gravity. And so we're going to use this formula and we're going to plug everything in. And make sure when you solve for this, uh, your mass has to be in kilograms and your acceleration is in meters per second squared. So just keep that in mind when you're solving. So F of T is going to be equal to our mass, which is 1200, times our acceleration plus our uh, gravity. And so acceleration is 0.7. And then we know the force of gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. So we're going to plug this in for gravity. And so keep in mind that this is vertical, and that's the reason we're, uh, we're doing it. So uh, plus 9.8. And so we have 0.7 plus 9.8 uh, times 1200. So if you go ahead and solve for this, uh, you can plug it in your calculator or whatever. Uh, you're going to get that this equals uh, 12,600 uh, newtons, right? So N, N just stands for newtons. So this right here is going to be the answer to this problem. So the amount of tension is going to be 12,600 newtons.